worked. And, I, and then one time we had to, we would go to these like uh, flea markets and things like that, okay. put out these tables with stuff. I get a lot of stuff that is uh, outdated merchandise. The dates on it are so close, no store would sell it mm -hmm. because it's going to expire. In the United States, it's a big deal, you know. So if the date's going to expire within two or three days, nobody would want it, you know. Mm -hmm. But you could sell it at the flea market. And it's what we had. So I have the table lined out with stuff, you know. And a lady came and she started to buy some things. And he reached under the table and was giving her things from under the table. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm giving her this. I said, look, this has got four or five more days than this. Give her this stuff. He said, I can't do that. It's not my religion. I said, what? He said, this stuff here has only got one day left. Now, this stuff here has more days. I said, but... That's why we put it up there. He said, uh, that's not for me, okay? He said, you can do it. I don't want to do that. I said, okay, do whatever you want to do, you know? Uh, he was an amazing man. And I kept thinking, you know, if we get this guy in Christianity, we're going to make him a saint right away. Mm. Maybe even so you still an wanted angel. to convert him? Huh? So you still wanted to convert him all of the way? Of course! <laughs> what part of the story are you missing here? <laughs> Hello? That's my goal. I haven't thought about anything else. So then, an, another strange thing happened. My friend, the other preacher, he used to carry this big cross. He would bolt it together. It was about 14 foot long. And he would carry that big cross and walk down the street. And when the uh, reporters, journalists, TV people would come out and ask him questions, and he'd be telling them about the Lord, and he'd give out these uh, pamphlets he had and collect donations. And so, and this was really funny because... He had a heart attack. Now, it's not funny to have a heart attack, but it was what happened next. I would go visit him every day in the hospital. And while I was in the hospital with him, another man was in the room with him in a wheelchair. So I go over to this other gentleman and I start witnessing to him. And I've got a Bible under my arm and i got my cross with me. I've got my hat. Jesus is Lord. And I'm telling this other man in the wheelchair about Jesus loves you, about the Bible. And I asked him, where are you from? He said, I'm from Venus. I'm going, Venus? Venus, Texas? He said, no, the planet. I'm going, oh, he's crazy. I thought this was a cardiac ward. Maybe it's a nut ward, you know. It turns out, though, that he had been very depressed, very depressed. I mean, this heart attack had really hurt him, you know. And not just physically, but, you know, mentally and things, because he couldn't do what he wanted to do in life. Sure, can you stick a point there? We just want someone to meet you, actually. Can you please come? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam. This is Mr. Ahmed Fahmi, our regional yeah. director. Yeah, you're the regional director for the Huda TV. Nice to have you here with us, man. By the way, I got you a surprise. Yeah? Yeah. Guess. Uh, surprise. Guess what? I don't know, some hold more on. programs? Just hold on. What? He's the ma a regional uh, manager, uh, regional director of the Huda, yeah. yeah, in Cairo. Here we go. Do you know this guy? <laughs> Muhammad? Assalamu <laughs> alaikum wa rahmatullah. Habibi, Sheikh Yusuf. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. How are you? I can't believe it. It's a long time. <laughs> Okay. Surprise, huh? Take your when seat. did you join to this? So he can join the show. Oh, this is, is, this, uh, is this a real show? Are we already on TV? <laughs> yes, we are. Thank you, sir. Just uh, I got to go. Yes, we are. Quite confused. Yeah. 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 Would you like to tell the viewers who this guy really is? Have a seat. It's been a long time. Who are you? Alhamdulillah. How about you? I'm talking about you. I'm sitting here. You know that. It's been here. All Have the you time. been here listening to this? I've been no. just trying to make a surprise for you. But I know you were here. I'm surprised. In Egypt. I'm surprised. For sure. I'm glad to see you in a good health and talking about me too. 
Is this really? We're still broadcasting this? Yes, we are. Okay. All of this is on camera. Because otherwise, I want to just take him and we're going to go out and... <laughs> huh? we'll this is Muhammad Abdurrahman. This is the man I'm telling you about. This Ma is... Allah. Allah. Ma this is Allah. the light for Islam to me. Allah. Allah. We... I am so impressed of what I hear always about you. And what I watch on the TV... Uh, may Allah reward you for your efforts and your strength in keeping your path like this for 17 years now. Every time I tell, <laughs> every time I tell the story and I think about you, Allah <laughs> I really I thank Allah so much that He sent somebody like this man. Why? I don't want to talk about you in front of your face. <laughs> this is embarrassing. No, I hear but this man. If Allah would have sent anybody else, I would not have listened to them. Subhanallah. That Why? Why? Because you remember I was just telling about the priest and the, and the one in the wheelchair. I was just telling you the story. This man was in a wheelchair. And it turned out he was a Catholic priest. Okay. So when I was witnessing to him, he said, okay, okay, I want to confess something to you. And mm -hmm. I said, oh, don't confess to me. I'm not a priest. I'm not even a Catholic. He said, I know that. I am a Catholic. I am a priest. Okay. And I was shocked. You remember? Yeah, I remember. Father Peter Jacobs. Peter Jacobs, yeah. I remember well, him very well, yeah. It, <laughs> when he got out of the hospital, I asked him to come and live in the house with us. And in the meantime, we brought Muhammad to live in the house with us. We had a big house out in the country. Okay. We uh, called it the ranch. ranch. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This you time you were new in America. Uh, Midlothian, huh? This time you were new in America. Uh, yeah, less than one year. Less than one year. Yeah. Mm. Sometimes he would say words I didn't have a clue what he was saying, but he'd be smiling. I'd be going, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I guess. You know, he was still getting his English together. Oh my God! You're Texan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then what happened? Yeah, I, I, I'm so uh, I, I don't know if I can remember. What we're doing even here now, this is shocking me. Okay, you met the guy in the hospital. Oh, yeah. He said he's from Venus. Yeah, well, that's what happened. After I found out he was a Catholic priest, I realized that, you know, he didn't like me coming and preaching to him as a Protestant Christian, you know. Anyway, when he came to live with us, I was telling him about this guy is a Muslim living with us. Let's convert him. He's telling me, actually, as a Catholic priest, we had to study Islam. I know about Islam. Hmm. I said, you do? He said, yes, it's a, a very important religion, and it has this and this. He's known the five points of Islam, you know, the pillars. Yes. Believing in Allah and His Messenger and performing the Salah, the, the yes. prayers, fasting Ramadan and paying yes. zakat, yes. the charity, and also making pilgrimage. He knew all about these things. So then we would sit around the table at night. Now, here's what we do. Clear off the table after the food. And then, uh, nonchalantly, let's just discuss the Bible in front of our Muslim friend. <laughs> so, I bring out, what, the Revised Standard Version of the Bible. My father brings out the King James Version of the Bible. Different version. My wife had, uh, she had the Jimmy Swaggart's Good News right. for Modern Man. Sure. And then the Catholic priest has a totally different Bible. Because these books are all 66 books each, Okay. But the Catholic version, which is much older, mm -hmm. in fact, the Christian Protestant Bible comes from the Catholic Bible. But the Catholic Bible has 73 books. What happened to the other seven books? Nobody knows. <laughs> anyway, here we are. We're talking about which book. No, my book. No. And my book says in it that the Malik James, the King James Version, is having grave defects. It needs to be retranslated. And my father said, no, this is the, no, this one, no, that one, so and so. And finally, I'm embarrassed because we're arguing in front of him. I said, okay, but just change the subject. How many versions of that Koran thing do you have? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's, yeah. let's take the answer from him after we take this short break. Stay tuned, viewers, as we speak to Sheikh Yusuf Estes and the person who gave him Shahada, Brother Muhammad Abdul Rahman, after the break. Stay tuned. Oh, my world is bright. Islam is my sign. Now my 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to the Straight Path. We're talking to Sheikh Yusuf Estes and his journey to the Straight Path, along with the brother who gave him shahada, Brother Muhammad Abdul Rahman. Welcome again to the show, Sheikh. So we were talking about five of you on Brother Muhammad. Yeah, I think uh, probably we should let the people know. This is live, yeah? Of course. So you have call-ins, right? Yep. Okay, we should probably let the people know then that uh, we're going to hold up any calls okay. until until after we complete the story. I think it's better. What do you think? Of course. I'm not trying to tell you how to run the show, but <laughs> just, you know. So, the next thing that happens, you see, after I, the Bible, Quran thing, because he says the Quran only has one version. Yep. And there we are. We're here with all these different versions of Bible. He's saying Quran is only in Arabic anyway. You can have all the versions you want in translation, and they're not Quran. None of us would ever consider somebody gives you a Islamic ruling from a translation of Yusuf Ali. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I would never accept that, right? I agree. But if you look in the Quran and you see something clearly said, this is haram, this is halal, you know, permitted, or something is forbidden, okay, then th that's fine. So he's saying there's only one version of Quran and it's in Arabic language. And I felt like, okay, that was a dumb argument. I wish I had <laughs> never brought that one up. So the next time we're sitting around, okay, let's go this way. I have another idea. Okay. In the meantime, my preacher friend has already told me. I talked to him on the phone. I went to his house. He said, stay away from that Muslim. Stay away from them. And whatever you do, if he brings that book, that Quran book, don't touch it. Mm -hmm. Don't read it. Had any idea they were planning this? No. Well, conniving and planning is what we were doing. <laughs> How to convert this Muslim to Christian? Allah, you know, this is the first time I know that now. You didn't hear that. No. But you had in, uh, any part of the meeting uh, Sheikh Yusuf mm -hmm. back then? Uh -huh. You had any uh, intention to convert <coughs> him as well? No, it was just a, a, a business deal. That's all. Then it turned to be what happened. But originally it was just a business deal as a was concerned you. on my part. SubhanAllah. So uh, now the next thing I was thinking about, okay, let's go another route. So we clear the table after another meal on another night. This time let's talk about God. We believe in God, the real God, the God of Adam and Abraham. And he's going, yeah, yeah, just like he'd said before. And then he asked me, how do you explain Trinity? Because I said, God is one. And he yes. said, this is what we believe. He said, and that's it. We don't have anything more than that. But you have a Trinity, so how do you explain it? So I had this idea. I'm going to explain. You remember? Yeah. The apple, Tufa. Yeah. The apple has the skin on the outside. Yeah. It has the white meat inside. And inside of that are the seeds. Sure. So these three things make one apple. Three things make one God. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. And then he said, how many seeds are in there? Yeah. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> so next day, I'm back over talking to my preacher friend again. I said, oh, the apple thing didn't work. He said, I told you, stay away from these Muslims. They're going to hurt you. You're going to get a demon, son. You're going to get a demon, a shaitan, you know. Yeah. So I said, no, 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 come on, man. Give me another. He said, use the babe, egg. Tell him about, I said, okay, egg. So next time I'm telling him, you know, the egg, it has the white shell. Inside the shell is the white of the, you know. Yeah. And then inside of that is the yolk. Yeah. Three things, one egg. Mm. Ah, Got him here. Got him. No, he said, what if it's a double yolk? You know when it has two yellows? Yes. You see an egg do that sometime? He said, does your God become four? Yeah. Ooh. And what if it's rotten? An egg could be rotten. Mm. Then you have a... Do you want a God that can be rotten? Of course not. <laughs> yeah. And you're comparing Allah to an egg, for crying out loud. This is an unbelievable thing. And so now, then it comes the subject of comparing God to a family. Like a man is a husband and a wife and a child. The three make one family. It's the family of God. You know, well, what if you have some more kids or twins? Or what if you get a divorce? You want a God that can get a divorce? No, you don't want that. So we're going through these different stages of how to explain something. Finally... I'm about exasperated. I've tried, I tried the finger. You know the finger? Yeah. When it's one finger, but you go like this. One, two, three parts makes the, you can oh. bring God to your finger. <laughs> What's this? It's a bottle law. Trying everything possible. Yeah, and then finally, the water. You've heard of the water one, right? Yeah. yeah. The water is like this. Water is three things. 
It is a liquid. It is a gas when it's a vapor, you know, when it becomes steam. And also it's a solid when it freezes. Ah, three things all in one. Except what? They can't be all three at the same time. Uh, oh, yeah. أَفَمَنْ شَرَحَ اللَّهُ صَدْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ فَهُوَ عَلَى نُورٍ مِّنْ رَبِّهِ فَوَيْلٌ لِلْقَاسِيَةِ قُلُوبُهُمْ مِنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ